In West Lutera you can find a dungeon that takes the name of Greyhammer Mine. Its entrance is located in the left side of the Bilbrin Forest. Differently from the usual, this dungeon don't require any mine quest to be completed in order to grant the access inside. And once you get in, you will notice that there are 12 Mokoko seed to be found. Well, for the first you need to reach the mine elevator and defeat the first group of enemies. Next you need to get to the right corner of the area, where in front of some supplies near the right browser you will find the first Mokoko seed. For the next proceed further and defeat the 25 enemies required to open the inner door. Next, in the top right side, you will be able to find a secret passage between the rocks. In this secret area, there is a monument in the middle. On the top left side of it, on the ground, you will find the second Mokoko seed. Another one can be found uh, to the top right side. Also on top of the monument, there is an item you need in order to reach the next Mokoko seeds. Now that you have it, go back to the location of the first Mokoko seed. Here you will find some barrels and a derelict wooden structure to destroy. This will allow you to access another secret side area. Here you will find another monument with some magic happening on top of it. Checking the bottom left side of the area near the wall you will find the fourth Mokoko seed. Then get on the left side of the monument and if you collected the lantern from the previous monument you will be able to place it here. This action will create a magic bridge that will allow you to reach the other platform. In the center of it, on top of a pedestal, you will find the fifth Mokoko seed. A few objectives after, you will need to fill the empty powder keg with gunpowder. Well, from the barrel opposite to the browser, you can find on the ground the 6th Mokoko seed. Next, after destroying the passage and reaching the mine cart, on the top right side from the first wagon, you will find the 7th Mokoko seed. At this point, it's time to use the cart in order to reach the next area to explore. Immediately after this will happen, go slightly back and you will find the 8th Mokoko seed near the overhanging. Also, open your map and reach the small cavity above this area, where, blocking the passage, you will find a cage you have to destroy. Immediately behind it on the ground, you will find the ninth Mokoko seed. Now, it's time to proceed further and reach the other side of the bridge, where you have to defeat the other members of the brigands' gang. Here, you also can find the tenth Mokoko seed in front of two barrels. Now, finish clearing the area and destroy the barricade blocking the passage toward the next objective. Immediately after, go slightly down and on the bottom right, in front of the broken fence, you will find the 11th Mokoko seed. To finish, proceed further and open the gate toward the boss area, but instead of going toward the boss, stay on the right till the end where you will find the opened gate, and behind its left side you will find the 12th and last Mokoko seed on the ground.